Good morning. Um, today we try to uh, finalize this uh, chapter five of our book, which is about introduction to uh, a singular value decomposition. Then we may start to show some some examples as, as these topics are all included in your meter now. Uh, so what we did, we uh, we were talking that we can decompose any given matrix into multiplication of three matrices, right? And uh, it was very important to do that one because one of these matrices was giving us the singular values. Um, and for, by looking at the singular values, we could understand lots of lots of uh, cool information. Uh, in order to, uh, if you consider an image, and in order to see that if an image is a bright image or a dark image, you can use, for example, singular value decomposition and look at the maximum, the, the first singular value, the, the, the biggest singular value. And then, by comparing these singular values, you can see that which image is, for instance, brighter or, or darker. And actually, you can play with that number in order to, to enhance it. So, what we said was this. So, let's write a few lines to, to revise what, what we discussed last week. We mentioned that for a given matrix A, m by n, we can decompose it into the u multiplied by sigma multiplied by v transpose, where u and v, Anger and Alenger, uh, and matrices are orthogonal. U it has size of M by M and contains we, you, you, I will write a word which you know it but we will discuss about it in details uh, in, in next chapters uh, it contains the I and vectors of A, A transpose and V, which is also another orthogonal matrix, has size of N by N which contains Eigenvectors of A transpose A. Sigma is a diagonal matrix. Which means that the elements which are of the main diagonal are definitely zero. Diagonal elements are singular values. If you are using MATLAB in order to find SVD. We can use the common SVD. So this is our U, this is our sigma, and this is our V. SVD can be used for many purposes and applications. 
for instance, obtaining the four fundamental subspaces. What are they, the four fundamental subspaces? In the range of A, the null space of A. Range of A, null space of A, null space of A, uh, orthogonal complement, which is range of A transpose, or range of A orthogonal um, complement, which is null space of A transpose. Calculating. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About that. Could we possibly solve some more questions? In For each three? of them, we will solve one example. Right. Okay. I mean, from chapter three, uh, we talked about the fundamental, uh, four fundamentals of spaces. Mm, I'm planning to solve examples for the from chapter one, two, three, four, five, also, and I start from today, and we continue those on Friday. But um, after I write this one, we will. Using SVD, we will calculate these ones. Um, calculating, um, cal uh, calculation of norm of a matrix. Calculation of Pseudo inverse. Very, very useful in um, big data in uh, computer science is approximation of a matrix with a Example for, for each of these applications that we discussed. When you're done, let me know. So the first example that we want to do is obtaining the four fundamental subspaces 
using the singular value and decomposition. <coughs> he said A is equal to U sigma V transpose, so AV is equal to U sigma. Why? Right, Hassan? Why? Because it's the transpose. How can I write? How can I take the V transpose into here and make it V? Because we're, we're, we're multiplying V both sides. Okay. So V transpose times V is uh, I. Is it? Can you multiply 1, 1, 1, 1 by its transpose and get this? Yes, because they are orthogonal, we know that the orthogonality means that V transpose V is equal to I, right? So I multiply everything by V, so this part will become I, and that's why I have AV. This means that A VI is equal to sigma I UI. Sigma I UI. And this is left singular vector and this one is right singular vector and well I mean they are I so it's vectors and this can be actually represented in this form we can have a system which has a transformation A we give the VIs and we get sigma i ui. If a has rank of k, in other words, a belongs to r, m, and k, okay, m and k, then um, we can write this um, A is equal to U sigma V in this form. Understand that this is diagonal. Why? Why can't I write it like this? We discussed about this uh, uh, last week. What is rank? Donna, what is rank? Mm, the number of uh, linearly independent columns in the. Yeah, I mean, by looking at the similar value decomposition, by looking at the u, sigma, and v, so how can I calculate the rank? Mm. Right? Uh, the number of uh, singular values. The number of non zero oh, singular values under. is the rank. Okay? So if the rank is k, it means that I have k non zero singular values. So I can write it, I can decompose into the black matrices, and then accordingly I can write it in this form. Accordingly, I can write it in this form. Now, this is RA, and 
this is Na. That actually is a basis for So as you might be able to guess, this should be the basis for And this should be the basis for orthogonal complement of RA, which is the nodal space of A transpose. Because they don't have a common element, right? And the addition of them the direct sum of them will give us us all the u or v. So this is very good because um, by using SVD, I can find all the um, basis vector that I'm looking for. Right, right. I mean, any matrix that you have, you can use the um, uh, SVD and then find out whether the basis for each of the fundamental subspaces. Norm of a matrix is what was the norm of a matrix? Do you remember what was the norm of a matrix? The definition? Um, a multiplied by x over x, but it was the. No, they, had, they had a definition. What was the definition? I do you remember? That it gave the maximum magnification, I think, or is the maximum gain of the matrix on vector, let's say x. This was the the definition. So norm of a was the maximum of gain of uh, x, if x is not 0, which was uh, the maximum of this over this, right? which from what we have written here, we can write it as which is
um, which is equal to Can you tell me that how from here I get to here? Think about it. Think about properties of U and V. So similarly, similarly, we can say that what is the norm of A inverse? I mean, uh, we talked about it, um, I remember, uh, last week. Uh, do you remember? One over this one is finally okay. Yeah, um, exactly. It is one over sigma n. If A is a full rank matrix like this, then we can write in that form. Norm of A was sigma one. Now, what we want to do, we want to do a numerical example. Inside this example, we do some calculations of some terms, like I am values, which uh, I want you to accept it till we actually get to that chapter and uh, we will discuss how we can calculate it if you don't remember. But before getting to that, let's give you a very important theorem. And the theorem says that let A be in R M by N have a singular value decomposition of A is equal to U sigma V transpose, then a pseudo inverse is V sigma pseudo inverse U transpose, where sigma pseudo inverse is S inverse 0, 0, 0. And S inverse is the one which has a non zero singular value uh, on each main diagonal. And this belongs to R n by n. Thus, A plus is V one S inverse. 
U1 transpose, which is the summation of I from 1 to R, R1 over sigma I, VI, UI transpose. We remember what, were, what was the U1, uh, what is the V1? I, what is U1? Is basis for R A. V one is basis for R A transpose, wasn't it? You know it was like this: U one, U two, S zero zero zero, V one, V two. Right. So we want to see how we can calculate the pseudo inverse in a numerical form. Some numerical example for A is 1, 0, 0, 1. What is the uh, inverse of uh, A? Do we know it? Can you use, uh, what, is, what is the name of A? A? This A has a special name. It's called? Identity. identity. What is the inverse of identity? Identity. identity. Can you, uh, you uh, apply singular value decomposition and tell me what are, what are the vectors? It will be U. I U transpose for any two by two orthogonal U. I can decompose identity using singular value decomposition, and I will see that U and V will be actually the same, but one is the transpose one, and then uh, I is I. It must be orthogonal because this will be U, U, U transpose will give us I. So from here you can easily see SVD is not unique. However, sigma is unique. Right? Sigma is unique. Let's have A, so we do still some easy uh, examples till we actually go to uh, pseudo inverse. 1, 0, 0, minus 1. It can be decomposed. Of course, you can decompose it in any form, but in general, the general formula of the uh, SV decomposition of this matrix is cosine theta, sine theta, minus sine theta, cosine theta. The identity cosine theta, sine theta, sine theta, 
minus cosine theta. Again, we observe that u and v are not unique, but sigma is unique. Let's calculate a pseudo inverse using singular value decomposition, a numerical pseudo inverse by using the singular value decomposition. And the example is given a to B, 1, 2, find A plus. So SVD is not a unique composition, although singular value is unique, but U and V can be any matrix. So, A is U sigma V transpose. And what is the size of A? One by two, very good. So what is the size of sigma? One by two, which makes it, this should be one by one, this should be two by two. Right? Now, very tough question to Donna. Can you tell me that what is U? U is a matrix of one by one, which is orthogonal. One, two. One. Is a very good answer. Now, what is what is 
uh, um, sigma and other v's, we know that if we have A transpose A, we will get V sigma transpose sigma V transpose What can we say about this? This is diagonal. This is a square. And this is its elements. I mean, its elements on the main diagonal are a square of singular values. scores of similar values, right? A transpose A is 1 over 2 multiplied by, uh, sorry, 1 2 in a column vector multiplied by 1 2 in a row vector, which gives us this matrix, which gives us this matrix. So, tell me, uh, what can we say about this matrix? 1, 2, 2, 4. Mike, what is your observation about this matrix? It's a singular matrix, right? Because row 2 is row 1 multiplied by 2, right? So we understand that this is a